choice we had the choice to go for punjabi german japanese or french so i chose french because i thought it is going to be comparatively easier so yeah would you like to tell me about yourself a little bit sure 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 my name is indrajit biswas i am from kolkata and currently i am doing a job in an ngo sector apart from that i am preparing for government exams and also I have, really yeah continue uh, i have a youtube channel so youtube is my hobby all right that's quite good so uh, let me tell you tell you a little bit about myself so my name is piru sharma and i'm from new delhi and i'm a student as well i'm pursuing a degree in english honors Great. and i'm also a tutor in english topic so uh, do you want to discuss today's topic with me or do you want to have a casual conversation uh yeah we can discuss uh, today's topic and also we can include some conversations casual conversations regarding that and different things all right okay, so since we have uh, 15 minutes with us so let's dedicate first few to the casual discussion sure. and towards the end we can discuss the topic yeah yeah sure sure All right. So, uh, what sparked your interest in learning this language, English? Uh, English has been fascinating always, and yeah. like as as an Indian, as an Indian people or Indian student, uh, I would like to speak English fluently, and also it will definitely help my uh, progress. And it is it is like I love learning English since my childhood, so that's why I started. in his speaking and it is like i started youtube channel uh, to improve my spoken english as well as to be uh, more confident in speaking english that's why i have started my youtube channel and i love learning okay, english so you have yeah so you have been multitasking you you have a youtube channel you are working somewhere and you are a student as well yeah absolutely okay that Yeah, that's really good. I really appreciate that. So, what is that? Uh, you know, your go-to language, the, the language that you speak when you're with your friends or with your family. Is it Bengali? Yeah, mostly because they don't. Yeah, they like speaking English, but they don't use it. So, I right. I feel that yeah, lacking of my practicing English. So that's why I joined Ink Talkie. So, uh, would you like to share a phrase in your native language that you guys use over there and translate it in Hindi or English for me? <coughs> Any oh. phrase or uh, like uh, anything, anything that you can. I mean, I'm in Kolkata. I'm from Kolkata. I'm from Kolkata. So I live yeah, in. From Kolkata. Yeah, I'm from Kolkata. All right, that's good. So, have you have you ever been to Delhi? I uh, know I wish I wish to go there. Okay. So all right that's good. So anything else that you want to ask or anything else that you would like to talk about? Uh, uh yeah actually like um, I see or I observe that some people like uh many among my friend like they are very uh, they know English but they can't express it like they feel mm-hmm. under confident. So so how right. to overcome such things hmm. do you have any idea uh, am i audible yeah, am i yeah. audible to you properly and right. audible okay that's great so yeah i mean people do face confidence related issues when it comes hmm. to speaking this language and not just english actually learning any new language can be quite intimidating no matter if it is english or anything else even if you take daily steps that is again going to help so for that have you ever tried reading any novels or books in english uh i actually i don't have any interest in reading but yeah i know that yeah, it is beneficial but i uh, that's why i started little so i think that i can overcome this uh, like lacking in reading i i can say that yeah i now i am practicing like one page or two page in a day i am reading and also newspaper because it really helps me in preparation right. 
it is great to know that you have been reading newspaper because i was about to say that that if you do not like yeah. reading books so we can definitely go ahead with newspaper newspapers and all of them have you know different levels of english some newspapers are very advanced level and some are for beginners and for the ones who you like know, yeah like yeah for beginners only. your favorite genre yeah. uh favorite genre like i I like to read I mean, ghost stories. Yeah. Ghost stories, right? Or ghost mystery, stories. thriller, suspense. Do you uh, like? Yeah, it? detective ones. Yes, yeah. yes. It is my personal favorite. You know, solving mysteries. It is so addictive that just makes yeah. me turn my pages again and again and just not stop. And this is why yeah. I just finished reading a very thick book within a couple of hours. So yeah. Wow! So you are an avid reader. Great. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoy reading book, and since I'm also pursuing English honors, so in my degree, it is quite mm. important and necessary to read. And yeah, yeah. And so, uh, ma'am, uh, like I just want to ask ask you that, uh, why did you choose English literature? I chose English literature because, honestly speaking, my first priority was political science. But due to some yeah. reasons, I could not get into that. Now it is like my minor is in political science and major is in English. So it was a pretty oh. fair deal that I got to you know pursue yeah, both of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. So yeah, I did not lose anything. So yeah, mm. that's good. 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 And yeah, so like I here. just uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, like if uh, there is no existence of English language, then what you Are going to pick, or what you are going to choose as a second language to learn? Second language to learn, I think it would be French. French, oh, it's very tough, French. right? And I have bonjour, je m'appelle Piru Sharma. Means hello, good evening. My name is Piru Sharma, and good evening is actually bonsoir. Okay, bonsoir. Bonsoir. Yeah. Yeah, I see. See, good, good. That's good. Yeah, it is tough again for someone who has never read French in their entire life, and just give them to just ask them to study the language. It is pretty tough, but again, it becomes easy with time when you get the flow and all of that. Just get used to it. Okay, so I think that uh, like to learn different language, there are a lot of uh, varied career opportunities. Right, like when you know more than two languages or three languages, it indeed it just widens your career prospects. Like you can yeah, sure. go for many different jobs in maybe abroad as well. Hmm, and there are a lot. Uh, there is high demand to learn, especially French, because we uh, right. because I have been using a different application, foreign application, to talk with native speakers. So they used to say that. La, yeah, if you know French, then or Spanish, it would be very uh, great to like to teach the foreign students and to earn more money to right. get. Yeah, okay, that's great. Actually, I I don't think that is it is easy, but yeah, you have chosen. I but really comparatively, just... it is easier. I mean, if you see German oh. language, it is quite complicated. I mean, they do okay. use English words. I mean, the alphabets they are English alphabets, but still, I mean, it is a completely different language. And Japanese, they have those lines, hashtag signs. It is very confusing oh. to read. They don't uh. even use English alphabets. Mm. So, and Punjabi was again. I thought, why not learn a foreign language instead? Okay, so French is bit tough. Uh, I can you repeat? Yeah, yeah, Punjabi is a little tough. I have no idea actually because I did not choose Punjabi as my elective. Oh. But I mean, when I was given for a foreign language. Yeah, sure, sure. So this that's, is why I chose foreign. Absolutely, yeah. and that's really great. Yeah. That's it. Ah, uh, yeah, we did had the choice to switch our. Like languages every six month after one semester, you can go for any other language that you want. But I chose oh. that stick with this language only so that I, you know, get quite good. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, good. That's a good decision. And there is 
yeah there's no point in switching languages like you study one language for a semester then another one for one semester that yeah, doesn't make sense very volatile yes yes it doesn't make sense so good good right so apart from learning and you said you work at an ngo yeah in an so ngo what is the work that you do uh like ngo helps the needy people and we uh, helps with three aspects like water uh, side income and education so all right uh, because i was in the i was posted in the hill station so there uh, there is scarcity of water uh, like drinking water mm-hmm. so we right. uh, we provide some ideas to channelize how to reserve uh, or how to preserve water like from rain water so and also like we provide some ideas to uh, earn more money because uh, they do farming in the tea garden mostly so and wages are very less comparatively right. so that's why we provide some ideas or <clears throat> whatever sources they have like natural sources so by which they can uh, like they can cultivate or they can uh, uh, rear up some cattle to get uh, like to get side incomes so it 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 would be very easy like for them right. so and that's a good would, charity work that you have to do for people yeah and when i see when i see their smile so i feel great i feel happy i feel delighted yeah i have some i have done something for them and they their hospit- hospitality is awesome like they never treat anyone stranger anyone as a stranger so outsider yeah yeah outsider yeah it, it is very great i feel i feel fantastic in That's helping and working with them actually doing yeah you are actually doing a great work by helping people who are in need and also helping them to generate a side income so that their living standards increase absolutely absolutely that's great so anything else that you would like to discuss and i think we have uh-huh. also come towards the end of the session okay oh, and it is very nice to talk to you and hope yeah, to see you again and again yeah. yeah i i hope the same and all the best and keep doing the work that you're doing and i will see you in the next sure. one thank you sure sure ma'am sure take care